Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to go over with you some of the more advanced charting that I have uh, discovered on GitHub for Apple Swift and Apple Objective-C for uh, my hopeful front-end uh, GUI-based uh, system to integrate with both uh, Redis, NoSQL database, as well as uh, posting on social media outlets like Instagram. So just want to show you on my YouTube channel, I have a number of playlists here. And uh, what I'm referring to is anything Apple tech. Now, I know this won't be a popular topic because everybody wants to work with the latest uh, technologies like Python and C++ and all that. But I just want to show you the, 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 the playlist of what I have. I've got 29 videos thus far on the various techniques of using Apple Mac OS and, and iOS. And what I'm finding is Apple's the preferred way of doing things. You get the nice um, interface uh, as well as the added security, uh, which some may think is painful. But when it comes to, uh, let me repeat here and underline, my money, it's totally different from everybody else. I'm not designing this uh, system and technology for others, for myself. So there's that. Now, if you go through these videos, you'll notice that there's talk of both uh, Objective-C and Swift. Um, before I forget, let me just show you what's happening with uh, Swift, the language. Um, just load up TO Programming Community Index. So we are in March, uh, last day of March, and the thing that you need to be aware of is that for March, yeah, here we go, you'll see here they talk about uh, Swift and there's a top 10 for the first time after Apple has announced uh, their Objective-C, which was the original language for iOS, that's being uh, taken out and replaced by Swift. Um, but there's a lot of community stuff that's still built around Objective-C, which I'm gonna show you a few. And the focus of this video is to show you some of the available uh, libraries that seem to work. Right now I have a running list of what's available. I found this um, link here on GitHub, which is quite useful. And what it does, it goes through all the um, source code projects in both Objective-C and um, Swift that uh, have, have, have good charting. And the funny thing is, is that um, they seem to build okay. So the first one I wanna show you uh, is, again, I'm using Xcode as my GUI. Uh, here's the project. Uh, the one I'm referring to is uh, this one uh, called BTC K-Line, uh, here's the charting available. Now, uh, you can see that this is written by somebody from out of Asia, and they've got a lot of projects here. If you come under uh, their repository projects, you'll see that they have a lot. YY stock, which I just tried, doesn't run. YK line, which I'm showing you now. And here it is. So this is the actual project. It uh, does your panning, nothing fancy, but it's not bad. Uh, you can, I believe, these are the different um, moving averages, I believe, right here. And uh, it's not bad. Uh, the problem with it is that it's written in Objective-C. So I think for my development, and knowledge, I, I really don't see the point in working with um, working with uh, working with Objective C. Just do the fact that it, uh, Apple is phasing it out. So I just want to show you that there there is some cool charting you can get uh, in Objective C as well, as you can see here. So I'll show you some other ones that I'll see if I can get working in my Xcode. Let me just show you. Uh, the other one, so I've got this running list right now. So um, I'll uh, continue along in another video.